Welcome back to a new video. Finally, I'm back from the little hiatus. If you didn't see my little update video from yesterday, go check that out. That kind of explains where I was at and what I was doing. Uh, we've got an O'Neill wave to go over and review that I hadn't got a chance to release for you guys. I made it a little Christmassy themed. It was supposed to come out before Christmas, but that didn't happen. But I still wanted to go over the footage with you guys and check out the new figures. There's some really cool ones in this drop. I couldn't get everything. I've only got a couple figures from this one, the ones that I particularly enjoy collecting and things, but I'm gonna showcase here some of the other figures on the website that was available. Um, they looked really, really sick, really, really cool. It's freaking wave 99 we're about to go into wave 100 i believe in february is when the next planned wave will be dropping according to O'Neill there but wave 99 is insane i can't wait to see what 100 is going to do you know it's going to be a banger uh but this one was also had its really nice figures in it especially one that sold out pretty quickly that i'm very happy i got my hands on i Pulled the trigger on that when I was debating it, but I ended up getting it and I'm glad I did because it sold out pretty quickly. Needless to say, we are back in business. We are about to get into some more Glyos reviews. We've got a Cappy Space review coming up as well. He just did a new drop with some new spins on the Mischievers and things. It looks sick. I love the look of these guys. I can't wait to go over them with you as well. Look for that one very soon. It should be this week where I'll be doing that review because I've already got it sitting and waiting and I wanted to get the O'Neill dropout out of the way first. So let's get into the O'Neill review. Enjoy. Hope you had a good Christmas and a good New Year's. Let's check these things out. Boom, new O'Neill package is here. Let's get it open. Let's get into the holiday season with some new Glyos. Oh yeah, all sorts of goodies in here. Okay, it looks like we did get the Stowaway Cray Booth too. Is this the Stowaway or is this one? I forget which one is the Stowaway. I got the Dark Spectre. Is it this, the Dark Spectre? Oh my gosh, I can't remember which one I ordered. Okay, I think it was this one and we got this one as the little Stowaway Cray Booth. So let's check out him really quick. We'll just go into our Cray Booth, guys. There we go. We've got that very nice, very cool glow in the dark effect on this awesome black and glow in the dark cray booth. I love the little highlights of black on this guy too. He looks really sharp. The green of the eyes. And then of course, let me get my black light here. He is glowable in the dark. A very, very, very cool. I love the glow in the darks. Glad to add more to my shelf. I love seeing them light up at night. Let's put them over here by the Christmas lights. Let's check out the Craybooth Spectre. This is the Dark Spectre Craybooth. He's got this really, really cool, like, silvery glow to him. Very, whoa, he, like, shimmers with that. Oh, my gosh, the Christmas lights are, like, reflecting through him. It's very, very cool. Oh my gosh, that looks awesome. So semi-translucent. It's got this dark silvery vibe and it is this really, really, really unique looking color. It's very, very cool. I actually, oh my gosh, I'm falling in love with it with these Christmas lights behind it. I should have these going behind him the whole time. I feel like it's, uh, it's almost disguising just how kind of like basic the gray is, but man, with some backlighting on this, it looks really sick. Oh, this was the Dark Spectre. I got it wrong. Oh my gosh, I just realized. Glow in the Dark, the Dark Spectre one. That's this one. This is the Stowaway. Oh my goodness, it's the Clear Silver Stowaway. So we got the Clear Silver Stowaway Cray Booth, and then the Glow in the Dark, Dark Spectre Cray Booth. Oh my gosh, I'm losing my mind. Because I did get some of the Clear Silver Access Joints and little ball joints and stuff like that. We've got some of these here. They look really cool. I am a fan of this nice silvery color. I did get a couple extras just in case for future build videos. You know, I've been doing those lately. If you haven't seen some of those, go check out those videos. They've been a lot of fun and I have been doing some building. I just need to film some more, but I've got ideas. Trust me. So you're not going to want to miss those. Make sure to subscribe so you can check out some of the crazy cool Glyos builds we've been doing. We also got some of this. This is the grotesque yellow armor access joints. This is not from this drop. This is from the last one where they had all the cool like battle beast uh, armivores and stuff like that. I didn't pick up any of these and now I've got like a spare part of like really bright yellow armivore legs. I'm like, gosh dang it, I don't have any extra parts to build with to match these colors. So I snuck a 
few in my order and now I should be able to make some kind of cool build with this. Potentially might be going in a build video, who knows? Now again, as I stated in the beginning, I did not end up getting a ton from this drop. I wanted to, there were some really, really cool ones. Here are some of the awesome little figures that were included in this drop. Some really dope Faoses, some really dope looking Fadens, some beefed out Fadens, and then of course we had this one, which I might still get this one. I might go back and get this. I think it's still available on the store as well. It's the Zul Beast homage. He looks really sick. He looks really, really cool. Uh, so I might have to go back and order myself one of those. And if you haven't gotten one of those or any of these figures, here's where the store's at currently as of filming the video, uh, what's available and what has kind of left the store uh, and been sold out. One of the products that actually was sold out pretty quickly was this guy. So I'm glad I grabbed him out of the two figures I got which was the Goss Armor and this Faos. This one sold out extremely quick and it looks really sick. So let's check it out. This is the GOH Faos. Now I forget what the GOH stands for, uh, but it is also glow in the dark and it's got this really, really very cool, unique pink spray to it. It looks so, so cool. That pink looks incredible on him. And again, he has the glow in the dark with that fade into the nice pink. Really, really cool. Let's check it out with some of that black light. Oh yeah, that looks really cool. I love that look. The faded look into the regular paint. Ooh, the back glow of him. Oh, that is sick. Extremely cool figure. Really, really dope. Oh yeah, we can flip around the head here. Let's check it out with the reverse head of this guy. Really, really cool. Very unique. Uh, you don't see this kind of pink too often, I don't believe. I mean, it's pretty dope looking. It's kind of like a little, it's got a little tinge of silver to it as well, almost. The pink does, and it works really well. And then we got this kind of light pastel -y orange in some of these highlighted parts, like the eyes and the chest piece. It looks really, really nice. It's very subtle, but it works very well for this guy. So you can go with the Christmas lights and we can get into our glow in the dark goss armor. Oh my gosh, this thing looks super sick. Oh, I love these guys, man. They're so cool. And in fact, we've got an extra little bonus Goss armor in this video. Uh, we had Toy Pizza Knights of the Slice drop another little Goss armor in between things that they've been doing kind of just out of the blue. It felt like I didn't see a lot of news on it. And then I just ended up checking the store and it was in there. But we'll go into that in a second. Let's look at the O'Neill drop first and then we can appreciate the little bonus extra Toy Pizza Knights of the Slice drop that we've got here. Super, super cool. We've got that classic opaque white with that crazy pastel -y green, the classic glow in the dark colors for this guy. Super dope. Oh, he's falling all over the place. What are we doing here? Oh, he's a little bit stiff, but that's okay. We got to break him in a bit and get him posed up, making him look super cool. He does come with his extra little head pieces. We've got that normal head here. We've got his backpack, which I think last time I forgot to plop on his backpack. So we're going to make sure we do that this time. Let's pop that in. There we go. Super cool with the backpack. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's light him up here. Check out that nice. Wow. Just got interrupted by an alarm set on my phone. I didn't realize that stopped my recording, but okay. Here is the super cool glow in the dark effect one more time in that nice glowy green. Very cool, very, very awesome to have one of these Goss armors in a glow in the dark. Looks fabulous. Look at that, he's holding that glow quite nicely. And the other attachment we get in this guy too is his little hand cannon arm thing. Really cool, I usually pop these on. I think I'm gonna leave it off for now. Oh, we also get this head. He kind of fell out of the package, but we got his little what do you call it, like a little Gundam-esque head thing? Can we get a little bit of a... There we go. Now you can see it. There we go. It's a cool headpiece. I like this one too, but by far my favorite is this one. Very, very stylish, poseable, you name it. It's got it. It's got the swagger. Oh, it's got the arm popping off. Okay, I always do that with these. It has limited range in that shoulder movement, but it's enough for Glyos, you know? It's got a little dope little movement thing going here. I'm trying not to compare. I've been building some Gundam recently and those things are so crazy poseable too that I'm like, oh my gosh, give me more of these Goss armors. I want that poseability in my Glyos figures, please. Still very cool. Nonetheless, awesome to have that glow in the dark. A really cool drop by O'Neill. Again, I'm going to go ahead and before we go into that bonus thing, I'm just going to go ahead and give you a little overview once again of what we had in 
a little drop this time, at least from what I got. I already showcased some of the other stuff you could get and what's available in the store, but go make sure to check out Onel's site up there. Click the link, go support, get yourself some of these awesome glass that are still available. I believe the Goss Armor is available still. Get it before it's gone. Christmas is coming. You know, you might be a little bit late by the time this video comes out, but I mean, who cares? Get yourself a, a late little Christmas gift. It's a good one. But I did say we were going to have that bonus Goss armor, and here it is, straight from Knights of the Slice website. Bada bing, bada boom. Go check them out here. I believe these guys are still available as well. I don't think they sold out. Uh, I think I checked recently, and they still had some. But this is the, like, metal black, super cool Goss armor. Looks phenomenal. Kind of hard to see in this lighting. Might have to brighten it up for you guys a little bit. But it's all black. It's just a nice matted black with no texture, no detailing. It's up to you to decide how you want to paint this guy, basically. And a nice little bonus, the thing that's not completely black, it actually does have some highlights, is they gave you a little bonus head. This is another, like, exclusive Knights of the Slice figure dude that they have going on. He's got these big kind of, like, bug-eyed creature things. I'll show you like another picture of him on a figure. I will pop it on this one as well, but I keep dropping it with my slippery hands and fingers. But they give you a bonus headpiece, which I thought was pretty cool and pretty nice of them. Here is the figure himself. Holy frick, we gotta brighten you up quite a bit, don't we? All right, we're going all the way bright for this guy just for a little bit because yeah, you gotta check him out. I mean, he's still got all that nice Goss armor detailing. It's just in this amazing looking black, just begging, begging to be customized and custom painted. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do with him yet, but it's going to look sick. Just going to give him some highlights, I think. Just pop him out with some highlights. Leave the back, you know, leave this nice black to shine through because it is really cool. It's got a nice gloss to it. It's got a nice flavor. It looks really sick. I mean... It's Goss Armor. These guys are incredible. This one looks super cool as well. Let's not forget the backpack again this time. There we go. There we go. Got the backpack on. He does come with all the same types of accessories that they typically come with. We got those two little head pieces, the normal head and the other kind of Gundam-esque head. He does have his little arm cannon. Again, no highlights on this one either. And then, of course, that little head piece, that extra Knights of the Slice head piece. Very, very unique and cool. It does have the red highlight on this, which... Is pretty sick in fact let's go ahead and pop off the head we'll just take a look at how the head kind of looks on him right now all right there we go there's the head piece again it's got that kind of crazy bug-eyed look pretty sick looking i love that red popping through it looks pretty unique it reminds me of something out of an anime something out of like uh what was that rider one or something that bug rider uh what is that one originally called it's like the power rangers the predecessor to power rangers the thing that inspired it all Genshin Rider or something like that. I don't know. I'll put up pictures so you know what I'm talking about. But it reminds me of that quite a bit. It's pretty cool looking. Pretty dope. In fact, I do have another Knights of the Slice head that this might actually work pretty pretty sick on. I might even throw that on there because, you know, you know me. I just like my Goss Armor heads a little bit too much. But we'll keep this on for now just to showcase it since it switches it up and makes it look a little different. Boom, but there you go. There it is. We've got both the figures here that we checked out today in this little toy Goliath review. Onel design site one more time. Knights of the Slice site one more time. Go check them out. Go support. That's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed and if you enjoy the Goliath verse, make sure to consider subscribing and stay tuned for more of these types of reviews when new drops and waves come out. I enjoy grabbing a few figures and checking them out with you guys, keeping you up to date with what is launching in the Glios first. Again, we've got that Cappy drop coming up. It looks sick. You're not going to want to miss it. Stay tuned for that very soon this week. And don't worry, I'm itching for the Go-Go's Crazy Bones still too. I want to get back into the nostalgia trip of the Crazy Bones. We've got the new, new, new series over from Brazil, the PKXD line. I should be getting those in within like a month or so. Uh, I would say expect that one early February. We'll get the new line of Go-Go's Crazy Bones. Uh, but in the meantime, we've got more series one going for the master set. And we've got some classics that I'm dying to open too. So stay tuned for those. And we will catch you guys on the flip side. Thank you for your support. And we'll catch you in the next video.